Sergei Rachmaninoff was the last Russian Romantic composer and one of the greatest pianists of his time. In 2023, 150 years has passed since he was born on the 1st of April 1873. This I will celebrate by presenting a series of performances of his music on the double bass. Typical for his music is a deep melancholy with long lyrical melodies and virtuosic piano passages. The dark side of his music I think makes it perfect to transcribe for the lowest string instrument, the double bass. One of the greatest solo pieces I've ever played is a transcription of Elegy, originally for piano. The incredible sad and beautiful lyrical melody on top of the arpeggios in the piano part gets a new dimension being played by the double bass in its highest expressive register and finally ending the piece with the lowest notes on the bass. And of course we also have the famous vocalise, which is beloved by cellists, violinists and other instrumentalists. Originally it was written for voice, but the very first, although unofficial, performance was actually an arrangement for double bass and orchestra played by Maestro Sergei Kosevitsky. In fact, he had a strong impact on the spreading of Rachmaninoff's music and published a few of his works. One of the few piano trios by a great composer suitable to transcribe from cello to the double bass certainly is Rachmaninoff's Trio Elegiaco No. 1. Here the cello part goes pretty low and all the notes are playable on the bass. Upon exploring the music of Rachmaninoff I found an endless output of pieces which I would love to play on the double bass. In fact, his production of songs is so huge that you almost feel you need a lifetime to explore them all. As Rachmaninoff himself once said, Music is enough for a lifetime, but a lifetime is not enough for music. I have found a handful of pieces that I would like to share with you during the anniversary year 2023 to celebrate this great composer. For some of the pieces, my transcriptions will be published online and there will be a link under those videos. You can also visit the blog with my thoughts behind the arrangements.